Hey guys, Thunderstud here, and here we are. We've finally reached Zexel in Duel Links. So uh, I'm trying to watch the anime at the same time this is all coming out. It's all completely new to me. XZ's summoning is completely new to me. All this stuff, brand new content for Duel Links as well. Now, the biggest surprise to me about XZ's summoning was the levels, guys. I thought it was just going to be some way to summon boss monsters like 5 through 8, level 5 through 8, and it would just be some end game thing you did, but to have such low levels be the focus of these boss monsters, it's like every deck has to be re-examined now, so it's pretty crazy. But man, we're starting with Satellar Knights, Satellar like a satellite, but Stellar, and then Knight, so Satellar Knights. We got an ultra rare, we got a super rare. We did get another super rare and a trap. I'm not using it here. There's also some level up and gate rewards. There's an ultra rare and there's a gate super rare I have not got a copy of yet. But uh, it's pretty good. I honestly would make room for it if I had it. But uh, instead we have some photon lead. Just place holding for now. But it's still wild wild deck guys i guess we'll start the boss monsters since this is a whole new mechanic in duel links i've whole new mechanic to me i've never seen it before so i'm right there with some of you just learning it for the first time uh, i think these are ace monsters i think utopia is the ace monster since i've seen i've seen like the first three episodes so far they're all level four that's what tripped me out the hardest so two level fours are all you need stellar knight this guy you can summon, normal summon or special summon, you get to add from your deck to your hand, so it's the ultra rare, pretty much a search. Then we have Altair, this card is summon, you can target one Teller Knight monster in your graveyard, except himself, special summon that monster in defense, so special summon from the grave, but he's also incredibly restrictive, monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of the turn, except Stellar Knight monsters, so uh... Just a little a little different there if you try to use other XZ's monsters instead of our Stellar Knight boss. So the Stellar Knight boss is Delteros. He requires three level four monsters on the field. And that's generally how you do it. They work with what's called overlay. You stack monsters on top of each other. I'm sure most people who watch my videos probably already know XZ's summoning better than I do, so I don't really want to explain the ba basics of the mechanics to you. It's not that complicated, it just makes you really re-examine decks. And like you guys are always saying, old decks are going to be better thanks to XYZ's. Anyway, back to the boss monsters. We're revolving around this boy, Delteros. When this card is has XYZ material, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when you normal summon or special summon. So that's pretty much just Floodgate. Once per turn, you can detach one XZ's monster from this card, then target one card on the field, destroy it. Pretty good considering you have three on them, and this card is sent from the field of the graveyard. You can special summon one Teller Knight monster from your hand or deck. So very strong card. He's only 2500, but we are using the skill Overlay Gain. Now with, with Overlay Gain, you gain 200 points for each Overlay monster, which is the stacked monster. And if he has three, that's 600, he's 3100 if you've used one. So you want to use this skill before you use one, obviously. But let's say you used one in a previous turn, then he'd only gain 400. Still a pretty good skill, I believe you can use it twice per duel. So like I said, this is a search. This guy grabs from your graveyard. Now Vega, also very important because he, she, it will special summon from your hand. And uh, generally that's how you're getting the combo started since this guy requires graveyard setup. We also have a way to start the combo with the new Goblinberg. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level 4 or lower monster from your hand. Change this card to defense position. Not a big deal, because we are using it for Xyz summoning. So uh, we've worked in one little copy of Unkulhai. That was a really hard word. Unukalhai. Okay. If this card is summoned, you can send one Teller Knight card from your deck to the graveyard except himself. You can only use this uh, effect once per turn. So that way it's pretty good to set up Altair and then you have a combo with your Skybridge. Like let's say you start with Kalhai here, send 
let's say Deb Deneb to the graveyard, then you use Stellar Knight Skybridge, target one Teller Knight monster you control, special summon one Teller Knight monster with a different name from your deck, and if you do, shuffle the targeted monster into your deck. So you would normal summon this guy, he would send, let's say, Vega. He sends Vega to the graveyard, you use this card, he goes back to the grave, or sorry, to the deck, Vega comes out from your deck. While this special summon card by this effect is on the field, you cannot special summon monsters except Stellar Knights. You can only use it once per turn. So, he's on the field. He's thrown a Vega into the graveyard. You have an Altair in your hand. You use Teller Knight. Let's actually bring out a Vega. Then, Altair special summons next to the Vega. Now you have two then you special summon from the grave, thanks to the Altair, let's just say another Vega, or it could be a Deneb. If you special summon a Deneb, you'll also get that search. So you got virtually all four of the combos in one turn, just starting with these two cards. Pretty good. But uh, on top of that, it's just a bunch, a bunch of back row hate. And then, like I said, Photon Lead is just a bit of a filler, or probably optimize it out at some point, but you can special summon one level four lower light monster from your hand and face up attack position works out pretty well it's pretty straightforward but uh... i'm telling you these plays with skybridge you go ukulai it's pretty complicated i don't think i got a replay of it actually I'm trying to think so like i said normal summon this dump deneb use this card special summon vega you gotta have altair in your hand special summon altair bring out the deneb it's like the wombo combo but it's still not worth more copies of this card i'd say you can also use it like a mass change. So, uh, so much to unbox, guys. I gotta get back on track. Uh, other boss monsters. You guys probably know what Utopia does. He's the, he's like the main monster of Zexel, I would say. So, uh, you remove an overlay monster, negate an attack. Now, this card's pretty interesting. Ga 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 cowboy. I don't know if that's too many gas. Once per turn, detach an Xyz material card. Apply this effect. If he's in attack position and he attacks a monster, he gains a thousand attack and the opponent's monster loses 500 attack. Super useful. But he has only 1500 to start off. Or if he's in defense position, inflict 400 damage to your opponent. That's not that much damage at all, but still an interesting move when you have 2400 defense. So we have two of him. Pretty interesting boss. Then we have Zubaba General. Once per turn, you can detach an Xyz monster from this card. Equip one warrior monster from your hand to this card. This card gains the attack equal to the combined attack of the monsters equipped to it by this effect. So, all of these boys are monsters or are warriors. So, 1500, 1700, 1800, 1200. That's a bunch of attack for this guy. He's 2000, but with overlay and his effect, you could get up to as high as 4000. So, it's pretty wild. But, uh, that's in a nutshell. I'll, I'll have to go over more while the uh, replays are going on because it's already been too long. But it's just so, so much to unbox with these low-level Xyz monsters, guys. So look forward to all that. It's going to be a lot of playing. And thanks for watching, guys. All right, here we are versus an Aster Phoenix. Going second. Let's see what our boys got for us. It's using balance. So we got our Goblin Break. He's a good way to start, but we also already have a Vega and an Altair, so we can start any way we really want. Facing a Dark Magician. Starting with a Navigation, showing it to us. Now it's our turn. Good thing we have the Almighty Hatred Nate eats Dark Magician up. He doesn't even choose to chain. Now we have a Photon Lead, so we can go even deeper. We go with our Lindenberg, go with our Vega. Could have done this to begin with, but we're going to go with just two. Xyz summons, guys. That's beautiful, beautiful. Way better than synchro summoning. We're going to Ga 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 Cowboy. Overlay gain up to 1900. Remove one. That way he gains 1000 up to 2900. He loses 500. Then we hit him for 1700. 500 life points within lethal with his effect, guys. Or uh, we'd be a hundred short in the play we're about to make. So we switch to defense, activate this effect before he can know what we're even doing, and now he tries to chain navigation, but it's too late. We're gonna get that use of that last monster, do a little more damage to him. 
he'll be just five or 100 within lethal. Super close. 400 is such a random number, but he gets banished. So, uh, here's Altair. Still on the field, just waiting for us. So we bring out Deneb. That's gonna give us a special summon. Look at this guy, Regeki Break in a Dark Magician. We still have him with Photon Lead. And we have an Altair, so we're gonna bring out even more. Altair's gonna special summon our Deneb again. That's three of the monsters, guys. Another XYZ summon. But this time, it's the pure archetype, Stellar Knight, what was its name? Delteros. So we remove one of our overlay monsters, which is just one of the monsters we attach to, destroy the Dark Illusion, and swing for lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Not too complicated, just a different way to look at monsters. Great stuff. Alright, here we are versus little Yugi. We're Tori Meadows. She hasn't really uh, gotten her own little episode yet in uh, the series where I'm at, so I don't know what her deck is really. Here we're fighting heroes. Starts with an alias and a face down. We do have a hate grenade, but I'm not too afraid of the hate the face down. I'm pretty sure it's just a mass change. Even before I knew it was a mass change. So uh, here we go with Vega into a Deneb. That lets us search an Altair for a follow-up play, but right now we're just gonna go with two. Summon number 39, that's Utopia. No cutscene, but he does have a cutscene. So we're gonna overlay buff him to 2900. Not quite enough to get over the Koga at 3k. That's okay, because we can negate his attacks. But we choose not to. Now we have monsters in the grave for Altair. We top deck a perfect photon lead, so we're good to go. Gonna start with Deneb. Deneb searches another Altair. Now we Photon lead that Altair. Now Altair is going to bring another Deneb from the graveyard. That's three. This time it's a Teller Knight Summon. Love this animation, honestly. Delteros. Delteros gets to destroy Koga. Even after he chains his effect, it's not in a permanent effect. We'll overlay again just to get that extra 400. Anyway, we hit him for 1k. We're back to 2500. He has no follow up. We got a Linden or Goblinburg, but that's okay because we can just normal summon the Altair. Search. Uh, we special summon the Vega. We should have special summoned a Deneb, but there's not much we really need to search anymore. Subaba General, guys. He's gonna get fat. He's gonna equip the Deneb. He's 3500. Then we still have Delteros with an instance of destruction on some back row, but the opponent scoops by then. Great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing Yami Makoro, super random character you don't usually see. We're going second. I think he does have balance though. The boy's using 30 card balance over there. Here we have our Sky Bridge, but I think I use it pretty much like a mass change this duel. So he's starting with the Lila in a set back row. He is Witchcrafters, in fact. Now we got a Deneb. Deneb searches. Not afraid of that back row once I saw it was Witchcrafters because that's probably just some useless Witchcrafter back row. So I'm not afraid of it. We're going right into the Photon lead. Special summon the Vega after we've searched with the Deneb. That special summons the Altair. That is an Xyz summon, guys. A 3 into our Delteros. Still a rank 4 monster. Technically doesn't have a level, I guess. You couldn't use it for synchro summoning. So, Delteros pops Lila. We swing for 3.1k. Now we do our mass change with the Sky Bridge. That would bring out another Stellar Nut Sattler Knight out from the deck and then return our Delteros into the deck so we could bring him out later. But we'd finish him off with lethal like a mass change. Great, great stuff. Alright, here we are versus a Yuma and Astral. Going first. Let's see where Matt from our boy yet. That's okay. Have a hate you nade first turn. We're gonna start with a normal summon of a Vega. Vega brings out the Neb. Search another Vega. We also have an Altair. We're going with two. Two level four into an Xyz summon. It's a brand new animation just for Xyz summons, and it gives you a little special one when you do a number monster. So we get 39. That's Utopia. 
Our boy is setting two, passing his turn. We're gonna hate your name that back row. It's Fiendish Chain. So he's gonna stop our Utopia. Good thing about Utopia though is how the effect works. It's a quick effect, so you'll throw an overlay monster away immediately as to get them in the graveyard when we need them. Here we're going with the second Utopia. Two more stacked. We swing at a st Sattler Knight of his own. This one gains 500 attack, but sent to the graveyard. Not the greatest. So we're going to normal summon Vega. Utopia threw away a Deneb. That was intentional. So we swing over a Betel Goose. Also not a very good option. He uses a DD Crow on our Deneb. Not cool. Now he has a Vega of his own. Gets Kyle High out. Brings out a Utopia of his own. I think he's going to get us the cutscene. There we go. There's the cutscene. Pretty cool cutscene, honestly. Pretty cool monster in general. Not too bad. You know, not the greatest monster, but not too bad. So he's going to swing at our poor Vega. But we negate his attack with our own Utopia. Now remember this one, Fiendish Chain, has no overlays. But this one does. We swing into him. We do have our overlay gain to up our attack. But you know he's going to negate the attack. So we just let him negate the attack. Now we use our last overlay to negate the attack. Now we switch to defense. He's going to hit us with an enemy controller. Hits that monster. Probably not what he meant to do. Now we have room for a photon lead. We had that boy in attack, it would have been an even faster lethal, but our opponent scoops. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are versus an Aster Phoenix, going second. Let's see what our boys got for us with that Silent Magician. We got a Photon lead. It is, in fact, Heroes. It's going with Ferris. Ferris into Increase. Increase increases the number of monsters. Bringing out that Vion. Throwing away a malicious, so he didn't want to banish and search his poly for some reason. Probably already has poly in his hand. So we're going to start with the normal summon of a Deneb. That searches a Vega for us. Now we're going to Photon lead the Vega out. That activates his effect. Special summons the Altair. Now that's three for an XZ summon. That's Delteros, the Stellar Knight. You can remove one of your overlay monsters, destroy a monster on the field, we destroy the Vion. Then we swing at the increase, completely breaking the field, he's down to three cards. He goes with the normal summon of a Stratos, searches another Ferris, but then eventually ends his turn, which I think just leads to a scoop. Great and easy stuff, guys. So, Photon Lead does work really well. I think we could just mess with the ratios of Star Bridge and get kind of the same effect, but you just have to think of it a little different, especially summoning like Vegas from the deck and then using from your hand instead of using Photon Lead. I don't know. Pretty complicated. We'll, we'll have to see. It's a lot of learning. What are your Stellar Knight decks like, guys? Let me know. XZ summoning so crazy with these low levels. You gotta really like go back and look at every deck. It's gonna be crazy. So, uh, Stick with me till then, guys. Hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching.